101 FM, first with news and talk indicator. I'm Tara Nickerson. You are listening to The Daily Wrap, and I have got a special guest joining me on the line right now. Uh, Ron Kaufman is the author of Uplifting Service, The Proven Path to Delighting Your Customers, Colleagues, and Everyone Else You Meet. Hi, Ron. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. Uh, enjoy uh, getting the chance to talk to you. I have not finished the book yet. I have already uh, begun it, though. And uh, I want to ask you, um, what is what was your experience in the service world that drove you to make this kind of your life's passion uh, that you really just wanted to, um, you know, show people how to give better service and uh, and and why you wrote the book? Well, it's a fantastic question, and there are really three pieces to the answer. One is I'm very fortunate. My grandmother taught kindergarten for 40 years. And so when I was a child, I used to have the privilege of going to her class, and I watched this amazing woman make every single kid in her class feel like the most important person in the world. And every parent that came to pick up their child feel like their child was the most important person in the world, and they were the best parent in the world. And that role model for me at a very young age was quite influential. And so uh, that's uh, that's uh, definitely a fantastic piece, and I can see where uh, that kind of shines through in your work. What was the second one? The second was in university. I started the Ultimate Frisbee team at Brown University. And Ultimate Frisbee, as I'm sure you know, is a great sport. There's now 5.2 million players doing it around the world. But when I got involved, it was just getting started. And I was like a Johnny Appleseed spreading the idea of this new game. And the most important part of the game to me was the rule that's called the spirit of the game which means in a game of Ultimate Frisbee, you don't have referees on the field. The players are responsible themselves for the quality of the playing experience, which means if there's an altercation, if there's a difficulty, if there's a complaint, you have to work it out with each other right there on the field because that's the spirit of the game, and that was very powerful and influential. Yeah, definitely. And how about the third? The third was when I moved to the country of Singapore in the year of 1990. So 25 years ago, I moved across the world to help raise the service standards in the entire nation of Singapore. The country was experiencing its economy being hollowed out because all of the manufacturing was moving to China and all the back office processing was moving to India. And this little country was going to be left with nobody but people and no work. And they saw the future would be a future of services, legal services, financial services, medical services, convention services, educational services, and they needed to re-educate the entire population to understand how do you provide greater value through the quality of service that you provide. And I got involved in that project, and I've been based here ever since. This is actually, I think, tremendously important for us right now, Um, you know, and I'm not just speaking uh, on on behalf of our community here in Decatur, Illinois, which, by the way, uh, is facing some of those same challenges uh, in terms of manufacturing jobs that have left and things like that. But as a state of Illinois, we're experiencing that. And I believe as a nation, we are experiencing some of those transitions. We're seeing a lot of manufacturing going away, not just because they're moving overseas necessarily, but sometimes just because uh, the technology is advancing. And so, um, you know, it is important that we all understand uh, the importance of service and, and why it's so important, uh, you know, as a nation, really. Tara, I absolutely agree with you. And one of the important things for people to recognize is is that this is also a good opportunity. My definition of the word service is this. Service is taking action to create value for someone else. So when you focus on who is that someone else that I can do something for, what is it that they really want, need, value, and appreciate, and then what action can I take to add or create more value for that other person? That is an example of you putting yourself in service to others. Now, historically, the word service has had a problem. It's like the customer is king, so what does that make the the, the service provider a slave? Well, that's not a very good, uh, it's not an emotionally uplifting way of thinking about it. I look at it and say we are all here in service to each other. So when you've got a community like Decatur or you've got a state like Illinois that's looking at a challenge and a change in the economy, if each and every one of us say, hey, I could add more value, I can create better service for somebody else, that is the base for actually improving the economy as a whole. And I think, too, it would be a mistake for people who are in um, you know, various industries to consider themselves not a part of the service 
industry because I believe if you're in business of any, uh, you know, shape or form that you are in the service industry. I mean, uh, generally, um, you know, radio, we wouldn't be referred to as a, a service industry type jobs, the same as, say, restaurants and, uh, you know, mom and pop stores or right. uh, pharmacies are. Uh, but yet we definitely have to take very seriously the way we serve our community, the way we serve our uh, advertisers and and the way we serve our listeners. Well, you're absolutely right. Every profession takes action to create value for someone else. It could be a customer, it could be a colleague, it could be a client, it could be a patient, it could be a member, it could be a visitor, it could be a guest. In your case, it could be a listener on this radio talk show right now. But the action that we're taking is intended to create value for them, and that means that we are all service providers. This definition of service, by the way, is right at the beginning of the book, and your listeners can get the whole first section of the book at no cost by going to upliftingservice.com. That's upliftingservice.com, where you can download the whole first section of the book for free. And so uh, one of the things I, I want us to address uh, in our limited time here is um, the fact that modern technology and social media has made it more important than ever ever, I believe, uh, for us to make sure that we are uh, giving uplifting service. And so, um, you know, talk a little bit about how that has really changed the face of things. It has in a very positive and potentially in a negative way. Each person now has the power to be able to put up a comment that goes viral. So you can have one disgruntled customer who can really damage the reputation of an organization by going online and telling all his friends and other people about it. So that's one reason to make sure that you're giving everybody a good service experience. But the opposite of that is also true. Anytime you deliver a great service experience, people will also talk about that. People also have the opportunity to promote and give you a thumbs up and give you a like and give you a five-star rating. So what you want to do today in this world of social media is do everything you can to earn those positive clicks because that's what so many of us are using today to decide where we're going to bring our business. And and so can you talk for just a moment about, because the the way to get those comments, the way to get those likes, the way to get the five-star ratings, it's not going to come from just providing the expected likes level of service, you're really going to have to bring it up a notch, right? That's right. I talk about something in the book called the six levels of service, and the expected level is only number three. Number four is called desired. When you serve someone the way they really appreciate it, which means you need to know who they are. You have to understand what they like. And the next level is called surprising. When you deliver value that's unexpected, when you give somebody that special extra gift of service that they didn't expect but they really appreciate. And the final level is called unbelievable, and that's the wow. That's the the legendary story that does go viral because people love to share it with other people. So as a service provider, if you say, all I'm going to do is deliver the expected, I'm just going to deliver customer satisfaction. In the old world, we used to think that a satisfied customer would be a loyal customer, but we know that's not true any longer. Satisfaction can be obtained in a lot of places. As a service provider, you don't just want to satisfy, you actually want to deliver a higher level of service to achieve customer delight. Well, uh, one of the last things I'd love to hear your comments on and, and hear you touch on is um, how we uh, find a way to give uh, that outstanding, unbelievable, you know, exceptional type uh, service to people without giving away the house. Because I think a lot of people think that in business, the only way to really make a customer that extremely happy is going to be to give them, uh, you know, the sun, the moon and the stars. And that doesn't leave them with a profit. So uh, so how do you find uh, a way to really give remarkable service, but not necessarily have it cost you a ton of money. That's right, and I love the expression you use, the sun, the moon, and the stars, because the earth is where the pricing and the profit is. So what is the sun, the moon, and the stars? That's the appreciation. That's the small extra step. That's the gesture of thank you. That's the follow-up telephone call. That's the proactive, by the way, did you know? That's checking in with somebody and saying, could I help you with that? That's, That's all the extra... Uh, efforts that you can make that make the service experience for your customer that much better. It doesn't have to be, and it shouldn't always be, on reducing the price. Because remember, service is taking action to create value for someone else. And when you create a lot of value, people will gladly pay a premium price for a better service experience.
Well, some really fantastic information, some very practical stuff. And like I said, I believe anybody in any kind of business could benefit uh, from reading this book. It's called Uplifting Service, The Proven Path to Delighting Your Customers, Colleagues, and Everyone Else You Meet. And uh, Ron, tell people where they can go to get that uh, you know, first section of the book absolutely free. And then, of course, where they can go to buy the book as well. Go to the website, upliftingservice.com. Just one word, upliftingservice.com. And you'll find the first section for free. And you'll find all the buttons there where you can buy the book online. You can find it in some of the major bookstores. And it's also now available as an audio book on Audible for people who enjoy listening to books either in their car or as they exercise and take a walk. Fantastic information. Appreciate you uh, taking the time to uh, talk with us about it. Again, I've been speaking with author Ron Kaufman, and uh, he is the founder of Up Your Service. It's the world's premier thought leader, educator, and motivator for uplifting customer service and building service cultures. Thanks a lot, Ron, for your time today. I do appreciate it. Happy New Year to you and all your listeners in Illinois. Thanks a lot. I'm Tara Nickerson. You're listening to The Daily Wrap. This is Talk 101 FM.